That's canon. That's canon. That is Injustice 2 canon starting right now. Yeah. Cool. Let's talk about uh, his other outfits. His other outfits. Yep. He has some really, really cool gear. I, I would actually say his gear is maybe like among my friends here, among the most popular for a, in a long time. It's some crazy stuff. You can see his jetpack changes. That's his accessory. And some really crazy lighting and helmets. And you can see his beam change color. So this is so cool when you see his intro when the lights come on and stuff. It shows, yeah. It, yeah, it'll actually show. It's super, super cool. So with this loadout, I went with two abilities that buff his Manta Rays. He, you can see he has a lot of normal attacks that uses Manta Rays. He has the Manta Rays special move. So the first thing I gave him was Dark Suit, which is a buff. This will buff his Manta Rays. They will do more damage. And you can actually see the effect change. The effect is, looks so cool, like the flame. At the price of he takes a defense debuff. So he will take more damage, but his rays do more damage. And then to complement that, I gave him low sweeping manta beam. Which is a really high damage, good low attack. You meter burn it, it'll actually go all the way across the screen. So this would be a great manta zoner. Uh, this would be a great manta zoner. This would be a great manta loadout if you like zoning with the fireballs. <laughs> And you're using a lot of the beams in his combos. I thought we lost you there for a second. You can go ahead and use this. Take the risk on using Dark Suit. Like, I mean, this will do pretty good shit. So, one more loadout. That's a, really, so that's a good, good Manta Zoner, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I like this one. It's super cool. Ooh. All right. So again, different color mm. beam, and man, that glow, that's really cool. So with this one, I gave him two really interesting space control tools. The first is his tidal wave, where you actually blow up a water tank off screen, and it'll delay and then come out. And the cool thing is, you have a brief amount of time where you can actually move while this is going on, and you can do combos with it. Mm. So the opponent's sitting there blocking, and then you actually have time to kind of go in when it's coming out. And the beater burn, actually comes out the other way. So they'll come to you, you have to block behind, and then you can do combos. The second thing I gave him replaces his torpedo move with the Black Pearl Grenade, which you will roll on the ground. And it has different distances. You can do it close, very far, and that'll trip the opponent. If you meter burn it, they'll actually get caught in this whirlpool, and you get a free combo. Trust me, you get a <laughs> All right, this time I got it. <laughs> Your combos are on point today. Yeah, yeah. I mean, do you want to try? I never played him, no, I'm good. Yeah. So, if you really like his mid-range game and uh, you want additional combos, these would be a great loadout. I think the Tidal Wave is especially cool. That's kind of if you like setups and knockdown setups and they're going to delay to wake up and you predict they're going to delay to wake up, you can use this and then they have to block from behind. Some super, super fun setups with uh, the Tidal Wave move. You and know, it also you know I love setups. Awesome. Yeah, I mean, you're a setup guy. I'm a setup guy. God yeah. or guy? God, you're not a fine, god. Fine, fine. Uh, cool, well thank you yeah. Steve. Uh, he has some amazing looking gear. I love yes. all the color changes. That's really, I mean, I know the fans love when that changes sort of like some of their uh, particle effects as well, so that's really cool. Yeah, awesome. I think Nanta turned out really, really awesome. Well that is, that is the sort of rundown of